back in 1990, a little pixel Dan dressed up as Raphael for Halloween. But with my Raphael costume, I didn't have a pair of size because I couldn't find toy size back then. So what I used instead was my yellow He-Man Roleplay Power Sword. So there you have it. Back in 1990, as prophesized by a tiny little pixel Dan, Turtles and He-Man is a reality. <laughs> Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and I want to talk about those new Masters of the Universe TMNT crossover photos that were just released last week. At the point of me making this video, at the point that you're watching it, this is probably old news because, man, news just gets old fast. But I just now am finally sitting down to talk about these. It's been about a week since they were revealed, but I still want to talk about it. So hopefully you guys are still interested in what I have to say about these figures. So let's talk about this concept again, because uh, I do want to point out that I did already do one video talking about the initial reveals for this line. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on those first figures that were revealed, which was like... Leonardo, Donatello, Man in Arms, Mutated He-Man, uh, Krang, etc. Uh, those will all be in a different video. I did talk about in that video how when rumors started circulating of a Ninja Turtles and He-Man crossover toy line, even though those are my two favorite properties, I had concerns. I didn't know if I was really going to like what I saw. I wasn't even sure if this is something I really needed or really wanted. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is, and I'm always willing to wait and see. And I will say that I have been pleasantly surprised with some of the cool reveals we've been seeing so far. Some of the ones in this new batch are already my favorites, and we'll be getting to those. Now, I also think this is an important time to point out or remind you, if you didn't already make that connection, that this isn't a crossover in the sense that it's a mashup of two characters to create one character. And what I mean by that is, typically when we see a Ninja Turtles crossover toy line, it's the Ninja Turtles cosplaying as these other pop culture characters. Like for example, Star Trek Turtles. It was just the turtles dressed up like characters from Star Trek. We had WWE turtles a few years ago. Ghostbusters turtles. Both of those lines were just the turtles dressed up as characters from the WWE or from Ghostbusters. It's a very common thing to see whenever anybody mashes turtles with something. That is not what's happening here. And I know that there's been some confusion because with all those pictures online, I've seen a lot of people say, well, who's he supposed to be and who's he supposed to be? They're not supposed to be another person. They are themselves. The story here is that the Turtles characters have somehow ended up on Eternia. So we're seeing the effects of the Turtles on Eternia and what Eternia's world is doing to them and what bringing some of their world to Eternia is doing to the Eternian citizens. Does that make, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but for example, like with that first wave, we saw Man at Arms and Donatello clearly becoming friends because they're very similar and thus they've like designed armor for each other or something and they're wearing kind of like these matching duds. It's pretty cool. Um, He-Man clearly had some sort of mutagen ooze accident and he's all super shreddered out. He's all big and buff and weird and translucent looking. So that's what we've got going on here. It's, it's these characters existing on Eternia for whatever the reason is. And there is a story that goes with this that's going to be told in many comics with this line. Um, so the story itself will, you know, re it remains to be seen what the exact story is, but that's what this toy line is supposed to be. It's not a mashup. It's, it's like trying to tell a story of these characters on Eternia. So I just wanted to get that out of the way just because like the number one comment I see is people not understanding who everybody's supposed to be. And it's cause they're just themselves, but influenced by the other properties. 
Okay, so I want to just dive in and start talking about some of the figures that were revealed. Uh, let's not waste any more time with any of that. Let's just dive right in to one of the figures that was revealed, which is Beast Man. Um, now, I will say that I feel like Beast Man is the least impressive <laughs> of all of these reveals so far, just because he doesn't have uh, anything too crazy going on with him. He basically looks like a normal beast man. It does look like it's a brand new head sculpt because it's got the closed mouth and gritting teeth there. Um, but you'll notice a lot of about him still looks like your standard beast man figure. I am curious, uh, uh, that does look like the origins body and not like the cartoon collection body, but um, I guess we'll see when we actually get it there. So it looks like he just basically has some samurai style armor, possibly inspired by the foot, possibly inspired by shredder. Um, and that just kind of is all removable. So it looks like you can make him just regular beast man, or you can add all this extra armor to him. It's kind of neat looking. Uh, one interesting thing is like in one of the images where it just kind of shows the accessory breakdown the shield's got like this big demon face on it but all of the other photos don't have that on the shield so i'm not sure what's going on there i assume that maybe that's a stand-in shield in those other pictures and that the actual shield will have that demony face on it but um beast man is okay he's not really exciting to me personally but maybe some of you guys feel different Let's go ahead and jump over to Raphael, my personal favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, although, you know, this this one is okay as well. And I'm not saying that it's bad. Um, it looks like he has probably befriended Ram Man. Maybe they've got some similarities between each other. He's got some of his own Ram Man armor. And it does make sense character-wise, right? Because Raphael is hard-headed. He's our hothead. He's the one that goes charging into battle. Why not give him that Ram Man style armor? Uh, he's also got these oversized size. One of them looks like it clips onto his wrist. So that's kind of fun. Uh, also, the armor itself all looks to be removable. So you can just have like a regular Raphael. I think the shoulder armor is, but the helmet definitely is, which is a question I saw a lot online at first. I'm glad that the helmet's removable. Um, cause it is kind of a cool thought to have at least as basic of turtles as you can get kind of in that He-Man style, which is, uh, I, I feel like a lot of people are going to want that option. So I'm glad that that's there at least. Um, I, I feel like these turtles have a very 2003 era vibe to their design, to the way they look in the faces, especially, uh, and also with something else that I will point out here in just a bit. Boom shredder. Shredder looks awesome, and he really continues that 2003 influence that I was talking about. Uh, the head, the helmet, looks very 2003, and also the Foot Clan symbol that's on his armor is that era's Foot Clan symbol. So I was actually kind of surprised by that, but I love it. I feel like that's an era that doesn't get a lot of love these days. There's been so many great iterations of the turtles, but that is a really good version of the turtles. And I like seeing the influence here with these figures. Um, this shredder looks great. He looks like a shredder that is in the world of He-Man. Um, you know, where the, he's got that He-Man style harness there. Um, I love the way that the armor itself looks. He's got a horde crossbow, which is really interesting. It makes me wonder why he has a horde crossbow. Um, also, the cape is blue, and I'm going to nitpick that because I really feel like that cape should be purple. Blue seems like a weird color choice for Shredder, unless he, like, is wearing Randor's cape. Maybe he stole it from Randor and beat up Randor. If there's a story reason for it, maybe I can accept it. Um, that cape should have been purple. Otherwise, I really like Shredder. I think he looks like a, just an awesome Shredder figure. He looks like a Motuified Shredder, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, these start getting really fun. Uh, we saw mutated He-Man that was revealed with like the wave one stuff. And a lot of people were questioning why he looked the way he did. I kind of uh, likened it to the super shredder, right? Cause when shredder dumped the ooze on him, he just got big and souped up and strong. It looks like that's what's going on with He-Man though. Maybe he's like mindless or something. Uh, one thing I want to talk about with that He-Man real quick is all of, most of the pictures we've seen of him so far, he's like translucent, but there's this one new picture that came out with this batch where he's not translucent. It looks like he's fully painted. And I've, I've seen a lot of people, like I've seen both sides of the fence where some people like this better and other people are, were bummed that he wasn't translucent in this picture. I'm wondering if the figure 
figure itself, the final figure will actually be translucent and that this is like an early paint sample. I'm kind of reminded of like at the very beginning of Origins, like all of the early pictures of Scare Glow. He just looked painted and not glow in the dark, but then the actual figure was glow in the dark. I think that's what's going on here with this He-Man, but maybe I'm wrong. So anyway, it appears that He-Man's not the only hero that got mutated. I would assume there's some sort of mutagen accident that mutates some of our characters. Ram Man is one of them, and this is awesome because he was mutated into a ram or a goat or whatever you want to call it. It's perfect. It's such awesome turtle logic. Um, note that in these pictures, he is also translucent, which seems to lead credence to all that all of the mutated figures in this line will have a translucent look to them. I think that's pretty cool, but I like translucent toys. I will totally hear the arguments other way around. I, I understand if you would prefer him not to be that way. I think this Ram Man looks incredible. He comes with both axes, just like the Origins one, but it looks like there's a lot of new stuff going on there. That looks like a totally new outfit that he's wearing. Um, this figure might be new all the way around, uh, which is really cool, plus fully articulated legs and everything. Um, that looks great. This is awesome. He is one of the best reveals in this entire set. I can't wait for this one. Uh, Slacker, what an amazing name. Slash and Faker. Is it Slaker or Slacker? Slacker sounds better. Um, I've only got this one image that was sent from Mattel. By the way, thanks to Mattel. They sent all these images over um, that I'm using today. Um, but this is a great image. This is another really, really good looking figure. And I was kind of wondering why they wouldn't... At first I was like, well, why wouldn't they just use Metalhead? Metalhead and Faker. I mean, they're both like the robot doppelgangers. But like also, I get it because Slash is supposed to be like the evil doppelganger of the Turtles. Faker's the evil doppelganger of He-Man. So it works. I get it. This must be a scenario where for some reason they built a robot slash using Skeletor's like faker technology. I'm very curious to see what the explanation is for this. Um, you'll notice the big crack in his chest revealing the little uh, control panel on the chest like faker. But if you look real close, you'll notice that the little reels are pizzas. <laughs> which is amazing. Um, this figure just looks fun, so I am all for it. Also, that very blue colored slash is very cool to see. Um, I, I really like this one. Thumbs up for me. I'm all for slacker. Slaker. Slacker. And that brings us to the final figure I want to talk about today. I saved the best for last, at least in my opinion. Uh, that is Mutated Moss Man. Oh my goodness. This figure is phenomenal. Um, first of all, this looks like a completely new Moss Man sculpt. This is not just them recycling the Moss Man that we just got. First of all, he's not flocked. He's translucent green. So again, it's another mutated character. He's translucent. That translucent green looks beautiful, but... That head sculpt appears to me a brand new Moss Man head sculpt. Um, it looks like they're reusing the the Stranger Things Demogorgon feet from that like Target exclusive two pack that's coming out, uh, which works good for uh, Moss Man. Maybe the hands too, because the fingers look really long and clawed like. But that armor is new. But you can see he's got all of these extra attachments that go onto him that shows that he essentially mutates into a giant Venus flytrap. Oh my goodness. Um, th first of all, there's so much going on with this figure. I would not be surprised if he's deluxe. And I've already seen some rumors that like the deluxe figures in this line are going to be exclusive to retailers. Walmart and Target, which sucks. I hate that. <laughs> it's I Look, I, I never even saw the Walmart exclusive Origins Moss Man in my area. I had to rely on help online to get a hold of that figure. So I am right there with like the whole anti-store exclusives thing. I don't think we're ever going to get away from that because the retailers require that to carry these lines. It's awful though. Um, so I'm right there with you guys. Um, if these are exclusive to stores, that's going to be awful. But Moss Man looks amazing. I love this Moss Man. I think he is absolutely my favorite figure in this line. Um, even if you don't want anything to do with the Turtles crossover, this just looks like a cool toy. And I am all for it when you just get toys that are cool that look fun. This looks fun. 
So now we've got this big sheet that that's what they were sharing on social media that shows all kinds of figures so far. Um, we've got what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 figures shown already. And um, from what I understand, four of those eight are deluxe figures. So I believe this is wave one and wave two, along with the deluxes to go with those waves. And you will notice that we don't have a Michelangelo yet. We don't have Skeletor yet. We don't have Tila. We don't have April. Um, there is a strong chance that this is just the beginning. Um, this was this is all listed as their spring releases, which means if they're doing another set of releases, we'll be seeing those for summertime going into the fall, most likely. Um, so I think we're going to get like a whole year of these with more waves that are already coming um, to go along with this story. I don't know. I think this is a lot of fun. I'm seeing a lot of reactions and I totally understand if this is one of those things where you're like, I don't get it or that's not for me. Um, I do think it looks fun. I do appreciate that it seems like there's some thought going into it and that there's a story that's surrounding it and it's not just Turtles cosplaying as He-Man guys or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, and while I don't love all of them, I don't hate any of them, but like, I'm not as excited about some of them, but there are some that just look so fun. Moss Man looks fun. Um, Trap Jaw with the Baxter Stockman tech looks fun. I don't know why his name isn't Mousetrap, but you know, still, I think he looks cool. The Krang Megator looks cool. Um, the Mutated Ram Man, I'm all for it. The Turtles themselves, I'm actually really excited to like get the Turtles in hand just to mess with them and see how they are like as Turtles figures. I don't know. I'm just rambling now at this point. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think of this as well. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you that disagree with me, but I, I either way, let's talk about it. Let's let's sound off, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, are you going to be picking up the Turtles of Grayskull figures? Are you going to pass on them? Are you going to cherry pick them? I could really see this going every which way, to be perfectly honest, because like I said, I think some of these figures stand out on their own. They don't even have to be Turtles figures, and they just look like cool toys, or even cool He-Man toys, so... Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you guys are uh, still interested, even though it's been a week <laughs> uh, since these were all revealed. Hopefully uh, you were still interested to hear my thoughts. They're out there now. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much. Stay tuned. More good toy stuff on the way, like always. Always something toy stuff. I don't know how to end this video. Until next time, my friends.